this is the most expensive and complicated motorcade in the world. With around 50 vehicles and over 100 personnel, the United States presidential motorcade has a single objective. Keep the president alive. At the heart of the motorcade is the car that carries the president himself, known as the Beast. But it's less of a limo and more of a comfy tank. The Beast costs around one and a half million dollars and weighs in at a whopping 20,000 pounds, which is about the same weight as a Tyrannosaurus Rex. The doors are eight inch thick, the windows will stop a bullet from a magnum, and the floor is built on a modified truck bed with armor floor plates to protect from bombs and grenades. It's even hermetically sealed to prevent biological attacks with its own oxygen supply. On board, you'll find rocket-powered grenades, night vision optics, a tear gas cannon, pump action shotguns, and even two liters of the president's blood type. But as we all know, it's not just one car that keeps the president moving. In fact, the beast containing the president isn't even the only beast involved. There are at least two identical armored limos in every motorcade, both with matching registration plates. And these two limos make up just one part of the motorcade known as the secure package. Also in the secure package is the United States Secret Service Countermeasures Suburban. This car jams any remote explosives that might be en route using two antennas that send out a huge range of radio frequencies that block any bomb activation signal. It also has electronic warfare sensors that detects if an RPG or anti-tank missile is launched. After that comes three separate SUVs with one distinct difference. Two of them have their rear window open and one doesn't. These two SUVs are called the halfback and the cat car. If the president's in danger, it's the job of the halfback to defend the beast and the job of the cat car to take the fight to the insurgents. The reason their rear window is open? Well, that's so the rear facing passengers can open fire at a moment's notice. The car with the closed rear window is the control car. The control car carries the most essential staff such as the president's military aide and doctor. In front of the secure package, you'll find the route car, pilot car, lead car, and a whole host of motorbikes known as sweepers. The route and pilot car scout the route ahead and relay information to the lead car, which leads the secure package to the motorcades behind them. The motorbikes are in charge of clearing the way for the motorcade by ushering cars out of the way and by blocking off roads and junctions. Behind the secure package is a fleet of support vehicles, including the ID car, which liaises with other counter surveillance agencies, the Roadrunner, which acts as a mobile communication center, and the Hazardous Materials Mitigation Unit, which contains equipment and personnel that can respond to chemical, nuclear, and biological attacks. Now, all of this may seem like a lot and that nothing could ever go wrong, but the Secret Service actually view it as the exact opposite. To them, the safest motorcade is no motorcade. Traveling by car is seen as one of the moments when the president is at their most vulnerable. So the motorcade will only be used for journeys of 30 minutes or less. For everything else, there's Marine One and Air Force One. It's estimated that one trip which takes around an hour, costs over $150,000. So in short, it's an expensive business protecting the most powerful person in the world. But many would argue it's a small price to pay.